Thanks for joining us. Today we're going to be doing some testing with uh, 12 AX7 tubes on the Tektronix 576 curve tracer. We're going to be using some of uh, the popular 12 AX7 or ECC83 Telefunken smooth plate tubes. These tubes are um, in very high demand and what we can do with the 576 curve tracer which actually was designed for solid state units with this module pad on here we can plug the tube in to a device that was actually designed to be checking and matching solid state components but now we can use it for vacuum tubes and we're going to be matching the curves of the 12 AX7 tubes and the nice thing with the curve tracer is you can run the tube at the full maximum rated power uh, uh, voltage uh, plate voltage of the tubes as opposed to what a tube tester can do now a 12 AX7 is basically a 6AV6 and you can look up the 6AV6 tube in the tube manual and you can get a curve plot like this. In fact the 12AX7 section of the RCA tube manual says to refer to the 6AV6 section for the curves. Well the nice thing about the curve tracer that we have, the Tech 576, it basically gives you the same kind of a pattern so you can match the tubes with regards to multiple um, plate uh, grid biases at the same plate voltage. So what we're going to do is plug the 12 AX7 into the socket and we have the filament voltage being supplied externally and it's being set for I'm sorry let's check this out 12.6 volts and we have a little bit high there, so we'll run it down. Okay, 12.6 volts. And while the tube is warming up, we will get our fix on the screen of what we're going to be looking at. For per vertical division, there is one milliamp, which is plate current draw. Since we have the tube in the idle mode right now, and we are not applying the step generator or the voltages to the tube, the um, trace is this flat line across here. The horizontal section is 50 volts per division. We're going to run this tube pretty close to its maximum ratings. So we go. 50, 100, 50, 200, 250, 300. The tube is rated to about mm, 310, 320 volts on the plate. We're going to run it right around 300. And then uh, we have 500 millivolts per each step and we're going to be generating up to 10 different steps in this tube with individual grid biases being fed to the tube. So we'll examine the first triode and we start to get a pattern on the screen. Uh, there is a little bit of a flicker bar because there's a difference in sweep speed of the curve tracer in the in the video camera. Right now we're looking at not quite 10 steps. Uh, we can switch it to display 10 steps that way and we can see all 10 steps with 200 millivolts between the steps and you're going all the way from 0 volts grid bias all the way down to the tube is, is, is uh, has a higher grid negative grid bias and it's barely conducting. But for the sake of ease of demonstration, we are at 51, 52, 50, 300 volts on the plate all the way across here. And when I switch from one triode to the other, you can see that there's virtually no difference in this tube. It is very, very closely matched. So we're looking at one, two, three, four, five. 6.6 .6 and about 6.7 milliamps on the plate uh, between the two plates 6.6 .6 and 6.7 so this tube would be considered balanced the two triodes are very tightly matched which is perfect for use in guitar amplifiers and, and microphone preamps phase inverter phase splitter applications I'm gonna put another tube into the same socket 
and this is important if you have two tubes in a stereo situation where you have to have the two tubes not only internally matched but matched to each other. So we're going to check to see if we can get this one closely matched to the other Telefunken tube. And it's had time to warm up and it's continuing to warm up even as we watch as the uh, full plate voltage is applied and the step generator is operating right now on this particular triad we're looking at 5, 6, 6.5 almost 6.6 .6. and that one is 6.6 .6. so we're looking at about 6.5 and 6.6 .6 milliamps by switching this left right switch on the front apron of the tester we can actually look at both internal triodes of the 12AX7 and we can see by going back and forth this one is very very tightly matched as well so this would be also a very good tube to mate with the other 12AX7 that we have and we can consider it a fully matched and balanced pair and the important thing that no tube tester will do is we're running this tube at 300 volts on the plate with 50 volts per division you just count the divisions over and we're right at 300 and we are measuring the entire range of negative grid biases which would be expected in a tube that was being used in audio applications where you're getting a wide variety of audio signals uh, taxing the tube to its maximum or barely the tube barely operating so give us a call and we would love to match a pair of tubes for you. Thanks for watching.